Hey guys, Shanti Phillips here at the April Hollywood Show Convention. I'm gonna go walk around here and see who's signing. There's a whole bunch of different people here today. Here's like a list of the thing, but it's kind of interesting looking at the price of people. Like people, you know, used to be like 25, 30, and a lot of people today at this convention, you know, it's like a celebrity autograph convention thing, have moved up to 40. It's very interesting that how many people have gone up to 40 within a, two months since the last one. It seems to be like that's like the average price for a lot of people is 40. 40 and then 50. But we're going to walk around here, see if there's anything, in, in, you know, who's signing, see if there's anything interesting, you know, for sale, any DVDs or Blu-rays, or any interesting, like, pop culture stuff. Because sometimes there's some interesting stuff for sale here. So let's walk around the Hollywood show and see what we can see. Let's walk around here and see some of the stuff we see and who's out here today. Juice bobbleheads and some Batman toys because you know Kurt Warner and Adam West are both here today, so I'm sure they have that for them to sign. There's some movies here. Here's some more stuff like Walker Texas Ranger and some set here. Of, uh, Rob Holt collection, odd couple married children, some like promo items for the things, hand pets from the Bounty Hunter, that's like a weird, yeah, it's like a bunch of things stuff, Free Truman from the Truman Show, and, and more Tron, and little card promo items. Thomas the Magic Railroad, there's some kind of weird ones in here. Ghost Rider, Flubber, that's pretty cool thing for Flubber. And there's the guys from, you know, Turn of the Corn, and a bunch of different people here signing. You know, people like Guy from Waxworth, and Meg Foster, you know, Meg Foster from They Live. And, and the one guy that my dad wanted to see, you know, Harry Dean Stanton, was a no-show, so he didn't show up. That always sucks when people you want to see don't end up coming to the thing, and that's the thing you never know. You know, it comes up at last minute. These people just don't show up, and it really sucks when that happens. Kind of movies here. There's a bunch of movies in this town. You'll be busy. Grizzly. And there's that dog. I always look at the first dog. You get the autograph for the dog. The dog actually signs it himself. He's got these glasses on. Louis, the first dog. But yes, this dog can fully talk and sign these autographs in case you're curious. Carrie Gar is here, but she's not at the table, so I don't know if she's coming back. But she's got ones for Tootsie, but I always love Mom and Dad Save the World, but there's, you know, that's too weird. There's like nothing for that one. That's not one you're going to see. At Malcolm McDowell's booth, though, he has a whole bunch of movies that he's signed, so that's pretty cool. He even has this really cool, weird one that I like, Evil Ankle. That was a really pretty cool one. But he's got a bunch of like, you know, Stanley Kubrick sets and stuff like that. So I always think it's cool when people come with a whole bunch of different stuff to sign rather than just, you know, the random stuff you always see. Down there is John Word from, you know, the Home Alone film and Sharknado. And the one I'm over there is from the, you know, remake of, uh, you know, the Brady Bunch movies. He played Jan. Uh, you know, yeah, play Jan at Brady Bunch movies. So she's here. But a whole bunch of different people here. So a bunch of bad plan I was in with is right over there. There's not as many people here today. Didn't you notice, Herb? It's like not as busy or something. Oh, no. The only person I sort of wanted to get a thing from was the one that was played Curly Sue. So I don't know if I'll get that or not. Because I, I always loved that movie Curly Sue as a kid. Well, I wanted to even look at Terry Gar. I'm waiting for her to come back. I would get something, but she doesn't have anything her mom and dad saved the world, which no. is one of my favorite Tootsie ones. Tootsie ones. But I guess that's probably all for this convention. I'll show you if I end up getting any autographs at the end, and then we're going to see where we go next. Yeah. Well, all I got was the Curly Sue picture. Well, here we are at the farmer's market. Gotta go and see what's here and see if there's anything interesting to get to eat here. I think there's like a turkey place or something like that that I can get. Into the farmer's market, let me go. See what's in there. I think they should have some something interesting here. I think there's like a turkey place in here. I was here a long time ago though. It's been like years and years since the last time I've been in here. I know they filmed some like hidden camera stuff in here like that Betty White show and a couple of different other things I remember they were filmed inside here but I 
think that turkey place I can get something here. There's like a hot dog kind of thing. I don't I don't think I've eaten hot dogs except a veggie dog in a long time. Yeah, I don't think that was the, the turkey place. It's somewhere around here. I don't know. There's a lot of hot like heat lamps on above you. I'm never one of those kind of people that loves heat. Back when I was pushing 500 pounds, I really couldn't stand the heat. Now it's not as bad, but still, I've never been one of those kind of people that loves a whole ton of heat. It's just never really, as they say, my scene. But I'm sure I can find something in here. I dare say there's like a turkey place, like I said, somewhere in here. We'll see, because i got to get something. I, I think they have like carrots and stuff like that. But like I said, this has been filmed on a bunch of different things. and. I think they and they might have even done like a Diners, Drivers, and Dives here, or Man vs. Food, or something like that. But I know the Betty White thing they did here. Um, and I think they might have done Deal With It, like I said, here as well. There's a lot of stuff here, like meat markets and stuff. And like stuff back in my heyday of, you know, eating like fried bananas and like dipped bananas, all that kind of stuff. But I, like I said, I haven't eaten any of that. I haven't eaten any desserts or any of that because I've just pretty much stayed away from it. But they have, you know, markets and stuff. And, a bunch of different stuff in here. Today I'm just trying to show some different stuff in addition to the Hollywood show because I didn't really get a whole lot of video there and didn't really, uh, you know, do too much there. Oh, this looks like this is the turkey place. They've got like some I carrots these. in here. And, I get the yeah, so yeah, this is the first time I've had the corn meat. Is that good? Yeah, so yeah. I can probably get something. Oh, that's that's nice. So I just got the thing over there with like these potatoes and then like uh, carrots and green beans and um, turkey, which I don't think I'm eating all this turkey. It sort of seems like a lot, like half of this or something, but, and I got, you know, cranberry sauce, and they put the gravy in the side, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. potato -y. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different stuff in this place to look at. But I, like I said, I haven't been here, it's only been like, before I even moved here, years back, they have a whole place of all like hot sauces. This is definitely a place for Wet Marie One. Like he loves like all the kind of hot sauces and there's like, all kinds of weird like unique ones in here like blind betty and the original death one i think these ones would give me like an attack for some reason if I, with, when it comes to hot stuff now i can't take it at all like i used to like hot things but now i guess since i'm changing my diet so much i get like weird like like almost like hiccups from it and i can't stop hiccuping i have like an attack it's very strange there's a whole bunch of unique ones in here though I've kind of decided video wise I'm going to start to do some other videos just kind of walking around weird places and different places kind of like I used to do years back you know kind of like around the towns I'm thinking a lot about bringing that back but if there's like weird places you want to see me go to like weird locations or weird type of stores and like that let me know because like I said I really want to do that kind of video again I want to do different kind of stuff I'm still of course going to do the shopping and the updates and stuff but I want to try and do different stuff like this, you know, walk around different places, showing unique spots. Cause from, to me, I like doing that kind of stuff, and I kind of lost touch with doing that, at, you know, when I moved out here, and I kind of want to get back to do that. So let me know the kind of stuff you'd like to see me do, and any like, kind of weird, unique spots and stuff like that. Maybe I'll go some with Brandon, maybe some by myself, some with Danny, so like that. So let me know. And they have like these old magic tricks. I remember as a kid, like I remember always seeing these, the especially these, too. these chocolates. I always yeah, remember that good. and this pen. I never could forget those these things. Good. And dog Trick food too. Squirt. That's good. I know. In the Barnes and Noble we go. Yeah, this Barnes and Noble is three floors. It has like a really good DVD section. It's like one of the biggest DVD sections of all the Barnes and Nobles. And, yeah, like they get real different stuff in here, like a girl walks home yeah, alone. Totally and I, a lot of people talk about this one. Let me know if this one's worth picking up. I've heard a lot of people say it's a pretty cool yeah, no, no one. But let me know if I like this one. They get a lot of stuff in here. Like they have like Tales of Terror and you know the Escape from New York Blu-ray in here, the Scream Factory one, and Breaking and Breaking Two. That's really cool. This location really gets a lot of stuff. Yeah, but they have in here like ghoulies. They actually, you know, in the store you can get ghoulies and the Lords of Illusions. They carry everything in this one. This is. I wish that all the Barnes and Nobles were like this and actually carry this much stuff because they have pretty much all the main, you know, big releases and stuff. And, you know, the Vincent Price sets, Westworld, they really get, you know, a lot of stuff in this location. They even have the Beyond in here, you know, the Grindhouse release. It's really cool they carry that in here. Because so I haven't seen that in any store. They even have the Arrow US titles in here, like Marvel the Devil. It's very cool. 
this place even has scorpion releasing titles. I don't think I've ever seen these in a store. At least not that I can remember from scorpion releasing this one. Another one I don't know anything about. If it's interesting, or should check this one out or not. But it's pretty cool. They've got so much different stuff in here. So that's all for this movie hunting kind of kind of random video. You know, I went to the Hollywood show, I went to some movie stops, and you know, walked around. You know, the farmers market. So anyway, though, guys, like I said, let me know kind of other weird things you'd like to see me do in future videos. Like I always said too, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave me comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.